Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly. Welcome back. My name is Trevon. I work with Century 21 Mike Bowman. This is another market report uh, where we just go over the stats. I'm going to be touching over some of the more popular counties in the area. So that way, if you're buying or selling, you're going to get an idea of what's really going on. Now, typically, I compare these with most recent stats as far as the last seven days. So um, it's combined. That way, you can see the change week by week. The last stats won't really correlate, though, because it was a holiday week. So we're just going to start off with these. That way you can kind of get an idea of the movement in these markets. The first stat we're going to touch over is going to be DFW um, within the last seven days. So it's going to show Dallas, Tarrant, Collin, and Denton counties. It will be a lot of homes, but it's going to give you a clear idea as far as the movement. So we had 1,286 properties sold. We had 2,108 new listings and 1,333 pending. So. It's good to see that the new listings is over the amount of properties sold. That kind of gives you an idea that inventory is going to stay the same. And it still shows you that within seven days, you had over 1,000 homes sold. So that's very good activity. Now we're actually going to go a little bit deeper in specific counties within some of that larger information. So now we're on to Dallas County. So within the last seven days, we had 366 properties sell, uh, 687 new listings, and 417 pending. So Again, good activity. You want to see the new listings above the properties sold. All right, next we're going to touch over Tarrant County. Tarrant County within the last seven days had 392 properties sell, 571 new listings and 406 pending. And again, you know, new listings above the properties sold. You may see a drop off, but it's one of those times where it's going to be very interesting because interest rates are just now are really starting to drop and they still could go lower based on uh, what the uh, Fed has been saying and, and sort of uh, the word around town. Our next is going to be a more rural area. It's going to be Innis. So yes, it's going to have lower numbers, but still, if you're seeing the same amount of properties sold as new listings, this is going to give you a good idea of the type of movement. So we had six properties sell. Uh, seven new listings and seven pending. So seven are still expected to close. We have seven new listings and six properties sold. So again, a uh, nice steady movement in an area where um, movement is is typically slower. Now, Navarro County will have more activity, but again, it's going to be a more rural area. We have 13 properties sell, 14 new listings and eight pending. In Wise County, we had 27 properties sell, 31 new listings and 22 pending. And Wise County is one of those areas that has a lot of growth coming its way. So in the future, most likely this amount will continue to rise just based on the amount of development that is uh, beginning to happen out there, especially new construction. All right, next we're going to touch over Collin County. So Collin County is going to be the, one of the more expensive counties, um, but you still see uh, solid activity. So 275 properties were sold. There were 415 new listings and 278 pending. So. Again, steady growth, even though that is one of the more higher income areas as far as um, the average price for a home. Next, we'll touch over Parker County. Uh, so in Parker County, we had 52 properties sell, 80 new listings and 47 pending. And the last county we're going to touch over is going to be Hood County. So in Hood County, we had 23 properties sell. We had 54 new listings and 18 pending. So more new listings than uh, more listings than properties that were sold. Um, so that's what you want to see. And then lastly, I'll touch over interest rates now. Now, if you do want more information on interest rates, um, I can get you in touch with a great lender. Uh, so feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text and I will have her give you a call. But other than that, 30 year fix, it is going down. It is going down. You're seeing rates of below 6%. And uh, it's been a while since I've said that. So 30 year fix right now, you're, you can possibly or average a 5.8. Next will be the VA loan. So 30 year rate on average is around a 5.6. And then FHAs, FHAs are sitting around 6.1. So that is a big drop uh, from where we were at a couple months ago. So. This is kind of what I mean. You are going to see a time where typically the housing market slows down because school begins. So once school begins, 
most of the market kind of slows down a bit. Of course, some of the higher price points still have uh, quite a bit movement, but it's going to be interesting how it takes place since interest rates are now dropping, which is a time many buyers were waiting for and some sellers as far as when they were going to list. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. From what we have upcoming, the market is going to be quite interesting. You know, there's a lot of rule changes. We have interest rates cutting. We have inventory rising. Uh, so overall, it's pretty optimistic. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My name is Trevon. I work with Century 21 Mike Bowman. I will see you guys in a few weeks. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly.